What's up, divas and divos? It's your girls, and we're back to do a try on haul for you guys. Hello. And we do have somebody special. We have a special guest for this try on haul, okay? A special, special guest. Not Tinky, but it's a special, special guest. Ta da! Well, this is Mumsy's hamster, and we decided we would bring him on for this try on haul, right, Oscar? Say hi, honey, hi! So that's how I talk to Oscar, and he likes it. Because then he knows it's my voice, and I don't really like rodents. I don't like them at all. As long as he's in this ball or in his cage, I'm good. But he likes me for some reason. And, yeah, so we're going to do this trial, huh? His hands are small. He's cute, though. Look at him. He's gotten so big. He's dirty. He's not dirty. He's cute. Hi, honey. Hi, honey. Hi. Hi, honey. Hi, honey. Hi. Guys, yeah, so you guys already know the drill. This is a try on haul. And as with Rose Gal, Gamis, Sammy Dress, Dress Lily, and Rose Wholesale, and probably some that I've not even mentioned, this is a site that is based in China. And the one key thing is to make sure that you check your measurements. Like, just don't think that you're going to wear a size medium here and then you're going to choose a size medium on the website. Definitely check the measurement sizing charts for each garment because, trust me, you will have a 1X, a 2X, a 3X, an extra large, a zero to three months or whatever, all in one order because everything runs different. So for anything that you want to buy pertaining to clothing, definitely check the size charts. If you wear shoes like a size 11, hunty just bypass the website okay because trust me when i tell you them size 11s is not gonna fit also with the time frame of shipping there is three day processing um then there's five to ten day processing and then uh, something like that uh, i don't remember but um either way just check the processing time frame so with further ado we're gonna jump into this rose gal haul the first item i have is um just a tie-dye crop top with the word stay cool on it the one thing i did not like about the shirt was that the collar was very tight and that i felt like the more i moved the more it was ready to just slip me my and my head off my shoulders but um yeah i would probably just like cut it cut the collar i'll cut the yeah. collar off for you but it was really tight but the, the shirt's really cute i wish it was more loose at the bottom instead of it being so tight at the bottom and like lifting at my stomach which is what something i didn't really like about it the, the design is really cute. And I so the item that I have is these black um, palazzo wide-legged with lace pants. So don't get me wrong. I like loose-fitting clothes. I like to be comfortable. The elastic is great in them. I do like the lace in them. However, you have to pair it with, like, the perfect shirt. So for me, these pants was, like, 50-50. Like, I liked them, and then I didn't like them. I, I think it's because I didn't have, like, the perfect shirt to wear with them. So, like, I don't think I will wear these, like, all over the place, but they are lightweight. They are comfortable. I do like the elastic at the waist. Like, overall, I'm, like, 50-50 with them. Like, I like them, and then I don't like them. Depends on what I'm pairing them with. So what you got, honey? It's a romper, but um, I liked it. Like, the design is really nice. Um, I just wish I had those. I wish I had shorts at the bottom of the legs and towards the legs of it. Shorts. Not, like, shorts, but, like, um, those shorts so it won't be see-through. That you wanted it to have a lining. Yeah, so it won't like so you won't see through at the bottom or you won't see through it in general or like a nice lining something under it. And another thing I didn't like, it made me look gave me no shape. I looked like SpongeBob. It did not look like SpongeBob. I looked awkward in it. But you didn't look like SpongeBob for sure. I just looked really awkward in it. You have to you have to really style with it in order to make it look right. Oh, it's really cute though. I have a shirt that's exactly the same. My off-the-shoulder shirt looks like this. Yeah, and but and I have the one that's the high-low. And it, but I have that shirt. We could dress alike one day. But not the same outfit, but the same pattern. You don't want to dress like me? No, you look alike. She don't want to dress like me. Awesome. So the next one are these gray flare leg um, palazzo pants. Um, now these... Um, I didn't really care for them too much because they made my butt look flat. Like, I felt like my butt did not look good in those pants at all. Like, remember I kept saying that to you? 
I was just like, they didn't, they didn't look that great on my butt. Like, and I don't want my butt to look flat. Like, I felt like I had like a school teacher butt. And I'm not like really going for that look like the school teacher butt. So yeah, it, like gave me a school teacher butt and like almost a camel toe in the front. So it was like, girl, make up your mind. And like, I would really have preferred the pants legs to be a lot longer. Like, I don't like them to be just at my ankles because then I feel like I have high water on and I don't want to be wearing high waters because I've already been through this as a kid. You know, you get teased. So, I mean, it might be the style, but I don't really want to wear that. So these were, these are definitely be something that I will wear to the house. I mean, in the house. Um, I don't think I would even wear these in Walmart. So they're comfortable. The I don't know because I don't like my butt to look flat. Like, they're comfortable. The size I have is a 2X, and they fit tight. So this is what I'm talking about with the sizing. They have some cute clothes, but this just wasn't for me. Like, they're, they're cute, but I just need them to be longer. Next thing I have is a two-piece bathing suit. I really did like this one, um, especially in yellow, because I really do like the color yellow on me. This is a, these are the bottom. Is that the front? This is the back. Is it a thong? No. Let me see the back. It's dark. It's not, it's not a thong. The back look more like it's got less. Why the back? You better wear that backwards. It's not a thong. But it ain't no thong, but like, hold Oscar. My butt is not like that exposed in the back. Because the front is more wider and then the back is, see, I couldn't tell the off sheet. You better wear this to the front. This is the front. No, it's, it's the front the now. I don't give a dag on about the tag. This is the front no, now. That'll look so awkward. It won't. It won't now. It'll look awkward in the garbage, too. Where's your butt cheeks at in this? In the bathing suit. Yeah, I know, but like, where's your butt cheeks hanging out at? Nowhere. Ah, uh, you're going to have to go try this on again for me. Mm hmm. Show them the top. I'll just take Oscar now. It's really nice. It's really, um, I think the padding's really nice. Um, I just wish I had a little more. More support in the back, well, in the front. Both. Right, you probably don't need to wear that bathing suit. Anyway, next. So the next thing I have on is this floral printed, loose fitting tunic type of blouse, off the shoulder with a sleeve type of blouse. It's cute. I do think it's cute. Um, it's very lightweight, so if it's hot outside, you'll definitely be cool in this. It does tie in the back. Um, the size that I have is a size 14, so it's it's kind of roomy, so it looks a little bit big on me, a little bit loose. But I like it because if I don't want to wear like a waist trend or some type of body shaper that day, then this shirt will definitely be able to conceal that. Overall, the shirt is like, it's cute for me. I'm not saying like it's my favorite and I would wear it every day all over the place, but it's cute. Well, basically it's comfortable. So, and I like to be comfortable. Oh, my last thing is another bathing suit. It's a one piece um, off the shoulder bathing suit. I really did like this one. You can wear it with or without the straps. So I don't think it really matters if um, for the off the shoulder part. Overall, I like this one. It was really comfortable, really, um, really fitting, really nice. The material is really good too. Okay, and my last item, you guys, this is like a super fast try on a haul type of interview type thing going, right? Is this floral romper. So it's a one piece romper. It's floral. Now, first of all, I don't, you like it, Oscar? Okay. So first of all, I don't really do the romper things too much. Like, I don't know. Some of them look good. Some of them don't. But this one, I liked it. It has pockets and stuff. It is a little bit loose in the back, so I'm going to have to kind of figure out how to make it smaller but the one thing that was driving me crazy and they said it looked cute like that is it was not to the floor like I'm not that tall but these pants aren't either and I guess they're supposed to be that length like a little bit above your ankle and they said that's how they look some of them and that's cute like that is that so yeah they weren't they styled them like that Ooh. you don't want them to drag it on the floor and the, I like dirty. it right to the floor I just, I don't know. I'm just like old school. I, I have to, that is not tacky. All my romper's pants are long enough. I feel like I got on high waters, but it did look really cute. I thought it looked cute and it was very comfortable and it's easy to get into. So that's the one thing that I like about it. Like I can't wear like a one piece anything and I have to fight to get out of it. So I will say this is easy to get into and it's also very comfortable. 
I mean, if you're shorter than me, then you'll definitely have luck with it being like the floor length. But this is a size 14. And this was also roomy on me in the back, which was like, eh. but I'll have my mom fix it because I do like it. So I would definitely wear it. And the material is very lightweight. So I thought it was cute. So you guys, what? huh? What's that? I don't know. Is there anything you want to say before we... We thought we, we head on out of this video. No. Hurry up. I got things no. to do. Like clean Oscar's cage. Oh, great. So on that note, you guys, we hope you enjoyed this really quick um, Zaful try on haul. We will link all of the items below that we have showcased in this video. We hope you enjoyed this video. Yay for Nay for coming back because, you know, she was too busy for me all those other times. She didn't want to do no try on hauls. I got to do my work. I got to do my school work and stuff like that. Nah, 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 Don't believe her because nah. during school work, I was still doing this. No. You, I was being forced. One time I <laughs> asked you and you was like, I, I got to do my work. Remember? I got. I have too many clothes. I don't have yeah, no Yeah, I needed to get rid of my stuff. What stuff? I needed to get rid of some of my clothes. Okay, so I now so what? to do that. It was another time she said she didn't have no hangers. Like you can't I go didn't. buy it. Hangers are dollar ninety seven. I have at Walmart. no money. <laughs> I have money. I buy the hangers. Sheesh. She like so I, that... I buy hangers for uh, the house. So why would I buy hangers for you? We're not about to do this here on on YouTube. So anyway, you guys, we love you guys. Stay deep. Stay diva and deep. Let's just make sure you rate, comment, subscribe. Um, thumbs this video up and we'll see you guys in the next try on haul, which will be right after this one. Say bye. Bye. <laughs>